being here at this particular show, why is the one of a kind a good fit for the 3D printing jewelry that you do? I think I think maybe the interesting part about the one of a kind show is with the 3D printer, unlike other like mass manufacturing, you make the same thing over and over again. With the 3D printer, you can literally make things that are one of a kind. Every object can be different. There's no kind of economy of scale to it. So that's what's really cool about it. I see some sculptures over here. Uh, explain to me what is going on. <laughs> So we've been running a fun little event, uh, the 3D printing photo booth, and so people can come and kind of have a three-dimensional picture made of themselves and then turn into a kind of a miniature sculpture. Unbelievable. What's the response been like? People, people go crazy for it. It's something they've kind of never seen before, and to have it be so interactive and kind of in your face is pretty amazing. Explain it for us in the most basic way. The most common metaphor we use is that the 3D printer is basically a computer-controlled glue gun. It melts plastic and deposits it layer by layer, and that creates a 3D image or a 3D object. Um, and that the process is additive. We're not sculpting anything. It's actually being created. This ring, for people at home, because it might look like it's made out of some sort of resin or plastic or sponge even, it's a really, really cool texture. What is this actually made of? It's made of ABS plastic, which was the same kind of plastic that Legos are made of. How much would a ring like this go for? So we charge $29 for, for this ring. I'd say that's pretty reasonable, no? Yeah. yeah. For an original piece? Yeah, yeah totally. absolutely. Yeah. I mean, I think the thing we're most excited about is people, it kind of democratizes like the means of production. Everyone can kind of, instead of buying things from one source that someone else designed, with the internet, it can kind of become participatory. People can share designs, customize the things they want, have their neighbor make it, have their friend down the street make it if they have a 3D printer, and hopefully soon they will. And so that's kind of the interesting part, that everyone's empowered to make things now.